Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on guys? Okay, but Kayla Nogura is at it again. She is currently on a brand trip with Benefit Cosmetics and they're in Santorini. And so far I haven't really seen any of the Santorini girls really post whatever's new about Benefit Cosmetics. And I've seen Benefit Cosmetics go live on their TikTok and they were talking about like some new item and, and like some bundle and a bag. It's like, okay, that's cute, right? But we're gonna focus on Michaela because I just feel like she didn't even wanna be there. Like I honestly feel like now she's just like, <coughs> just here to be here, girl. They booked me for this gig and I'm here. And you know what I always wondered? I always wanted to ask these beauty gurus, like when you go on these brand trips are like, are the, do you get paid to be on them or is the trip like the exchange? You know what I'm saying? Like we'll take care of your hotel, food and makeup and whatever, enjoy the trip and that's it. Or do you get paid to be on the trip? I always wanted to know that. Anyways, so she, Michaela's on this trip. She, t she took a picture by like every influencer goes to take this picture on these steps, right? But like she looks bored. She's not like she's all happy and she's not even doing it right because like every influencer goes to Santorini to take that one picture with the flowy dress. That's how you do it. And the photographers there, the locals, they'll take the picture. They give you the little thing to clip on to make the dress longer. They Photoshop it to make it look even longer. It's like 50 bucks and that's gonna be her look. That's, she look, and then she's wearing that, the Chanel bag again. And I thought, I'm like, oh, thank God we got a break from the Dior bag on this time. She always takes the Dior one. So on this brand trip, I noticed that she did not take Cody. I couldn't find Cody on the trip. And I was like, well, you know, whatever happened to Cody? Well, um, this is why Cody wasn't invited. Cause remember you do not talk about Cody. Cody wasn't invited on the trip because look at all these girls who were there. Mm -hmm. They're all there hanging out and I'm like, well, this makes sense now. Cause she doesn't want Cody around other women cause she's insecure and she nailed it. Like she, I was like, this is what's going on. Now I understand. And this is the time of year where a lot of brands are doing trips. Like I got this PR package, let me show you the other day. I got it from Milani, which you know, I freaking love Milani so much. They sent me this right here. It looks like a little suitcase with the wheels on it. Isn't that so cute? And then you open it up and it has some, you know, some of your summer essentials. So that was pretty cute, which I do like the SPF. I'm gonna have to use that one tomorrow. Um, oh, also, if you guys watch this video, make sure you follow my Instagram because tomorrow I'm getting a laser facial. Like they're gonna zap my face, make me look younger. So my face is gonna be really red and like patchy and all that stuff like that. But anyways, I digress. All that to say this, right, is she's on this trip I haven't seen her really promote on these Instagram photos that I'm showing you her Santorini, uh, I wanna say Tarte, but it's Benefit thing, right? And I love Benefit. I think Benefit and Tarte, like these brands, y'all can hate on them all they want, but they're staples. It's like Macy's and Ulta, it's like they're not going nowhere. They have big investors, they have deep pockets. They're here to stay, okay? They may come out with stuff that looks kind of a lot of the same, but I mean, it works. So if don't, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Everyone likes a little pinky nude lip and that little soft glam of neutrals. Like it's just, it is what it is, right? All that to say this, she's on this trip, Cody's not there. Then one of the girls on the trips posts a photo of Michaela in the background. Now you can see Michaela like dancing and laughing, looking like she's kind of like tipsy, drunk the house, whatever. But then Michaela posts this photo and I'm just like, girl, you look snatched the house. I don't know about the thighs, they don't really match the rest of the body, but like she looks so snatched in this picture. And according to the picture we saw earlier, it looked like two different people. I would not, if I was in Santorini vacationing with my hot six boyfriends feeding me grapes on the beach, girl, I would not know that that was Michaela at all. I would just think it was just a regular girl out there just taking pictures. In fact, I wouldn't know Michaela if I was in a, in a room with her because she doesn't stand out anymore. She, she doesn't stand, before when she was like overweight and she didn't have any work done to her face, she, she, she stood out, you, you can call it, she's different. Now she's starting to morph into that influencer face with the almond eyes and the cheeks and the lips. Like it's all starting to look a lot of the same, right? A lot of these girls, they all are like brat dolls, right? So it's, it's like, they're all look the same. Michaela, I could pick her out, not anymore. 
she's changed. She's she's very she's changed a lot. So then there's this other photo of her in the hotel room. This photo has to be the most photoshopped photo I have seen of her in the last couple of days. Honestly, when I looked at it, I'm like you do not look like that. Stop. Like, seriously, stop. You don't look like that at all. Like, for real, for real. Because that is not the Michaela that I know. It's not. And I, then I'm looking like, oh, there's a Chanel bag again. Oh, what's in the trash can? What's in the background? Again, I don't know. Based on these photos that she's posting, I don't know that she's on a brand trip with a brand without her telling us. It's like, tell us you're on a brand trip without telling us you're on a brand trip. I can't tell. Because she's not like... She's not doing anything that would like let me know that she's doing that unless you watch her TikTok videos. But the pictures that she's posting online is not giving that. And even the makeup, you're on, you're on a trip with the brand, but it's kind of like, what is going on? You're not even giving Santorini makeup. Look, I'm giving you Santorini makeup. Look, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get into this gig. Get into my Santorini makeup. Look, girl. That's how you do it. Anyways. People vacationing in Santorini, Greece are having an awful time because it's overcrowded and they can't enjoy any of the things that they wanted to see while they were there. Also, they're complaining about the donkey poop everywhere. And then when they get to visit the destinations they were excited to see, like Acropolis, it just isn't what they thought it would be. The whole concept behind Santorini is it's supposed to be a beautiful, romantic, and quiet island versus Mykonos, which is more of a party island. But imagine traveling there and then everybody's taking pictures around you and you can't get a sense of peace at all. Just look at everybody's face. They're having an awful time. And I have been to both Mykonos and Santorini and it was nothing like this 15 years ago. It was virtually empty. And just traveling there looks almost biblical. There is way too many people on this island. I can't help but feel bad for these people. They saved up and were excited for this trip and they're having a misery. I, I don't understand. I just think that some of the people, and I'm not being a hater, like whatever. I already know what y'all are going to say. I think that some of the people that go on these brand trips, but who am I to judge? I feel like they're just not deserving of going on these brand trips. I know. I know I said it, and y'all are going to get so upset about me about me saying that, but that's like honestly how I feel about it. I don't think that... And the key is that they're taking these extravagant trips, and they're taking influencers with millions of followers who probably do pretty well for themselves financially and could probably afford this trip themselves, and they're giving it to them for free. So if you're someone who, you know, worked a long day, is maybe struggling in this economy, and you go to sit on your couch and scroll through TikTok to unwind at the end of the day, it can be really easy to get frustrating and see this extravagant trip, the overconsumption that happens with mm -hmm. it, of all of this free stuff being given to these influencers who probably could afford it. She's deserving to be on that trip. I think that there are other influencers and other girls that I think would have been a lot better to go on a trip like that, other than Michaela and even some of the other girls who were on that trip. I don't understand. I don't see um, Lady Gaga House Labs taking girls on trips. I don't see Natasha Denona taking girls on trips. I don't see Jeffree Star taking girls on trips. People are always like, is our brand trips worth it? Like for the brand because they're paying for so much elaborate stuff. But it's like, let's say a brand has like $15,000, right? That's their marketing budget. And they're like, okay, we could pay all of this $15,000 to one creator to get three stories. Or we can take this $15,000 and send four creators to, you know, Hawaii for four days, all paid for, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to get way more than three stories out of them. Like, that's kind of how that mindset is. Because who doesn't want to just go on a free trip? Yeah. It's just the culture of some of, I mean, Santorini, Greece, that's a trip that's on a lot of people's like bucket list in life. Dubai, Santorini, Greece, Bora Bora, Nectar Island, like, <laughs> girl, who cares? No one wants to go Nectar Island, girl. But you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. The whole culture of these brands going on trips, although I think they're fun, I think they're cute. I think that some of the people, and this will always be this way. It will always be this way. Every, no matter who they choose, people are going to have an issue with it. I get that. They can choose me, people are going to have an issue with it. The issue that I don't, I don't understand is I feel like they're not getting a return on their investment with these influencers posting enough of the brand. I think they need to do more. That's just my opinion. Because as of right now, I know that Benefit flew out all these girls over there. And it is 
uh, let me show you the date. Wednesday, July 24th, and I have no idea what benefit launched. No idea at all. Based on just surface level photos and stuff I've seen. It needs to hit harder for the amount of money that they're making. Hey guys, I'm going with Benefit Cosmetics and we're checking out their brand new mascara. Like boom, boom. I know from the beginning. Each photo should say I'm with Benefit for their new mascara. Allegedly, I'm just throwing it out there. This is my outfit for the day. Da -da 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 -da, and the rest, they can do it. But like, I don't know what's going on. But that's just my opinion. So let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. What you think about it, this is where it's like the hottest news on YouTube. And if you made this front of the video, leave a like because I can get likes in my life. So drop a like. Okay, love you guys. Mwah.